A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God, for gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations from the Lord your God. Blow a trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, Gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people with the nations and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. We'll chant the responsorial psalm. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you, on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, 
King of endless glory. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so you may not appear to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. And everybody has to get to school and get to work. So just a a brief comment uh, this morning. Uh, Ash Wednesday is maybe a little bit of a strange experience for people who are not Catholic, uh, especially when you read the words of Jesus about praying in secret and when you and when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites and all these things and. Ash Wednesday kind of seems to directly contradict those things. Here we are proclaiming a day of penance and fasting, and we want everybody to know about it because we have the ashes on our forehead. I think it's important to remember why we do Ash Wednesday and why we have the ashes on our forehead. It is not because we are showing an act of righteousness. Rather, it's the opposite. It's showing that we see ourselves merely as dust. We recognize the fact that we have sinned, the fact that we have turned away from God. Something that is very uh, misunderstood in our culture today about Christians is that people think that Christians, and especially Catholics, we think that we're better than everybody else, we think we're self-righteous, but it's actually the opposite. We are sinners. We are in need of God's mercy. But we are hopeful that even though we are sinners, that one day we might be saints. We believe that every saint has a past, every sinner has a future. All of us are sinners striving to be saints. So today is not an act like the hypocrites, rather it is an act of humility, showing our unworthiness and our sinfulness, and showing everyone that we acknowledge that we are in desperate need of God's mercy. So now we're going to have the blessing of the ashes, And once the ashes are blessed, we will have the distribution and we'll form two lines just like we normally do for communion. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with abundance of his grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who desire not the death of sinners but their conversion, mercifully hear our prayers and in your kindness be pleased to bless these ashes which we intend to receive upon our heads. That we who acknowledge we are but ashes and shall return to dust may through a steadfast observance of Lent gain pardon for sins and newness of life after the likeness of your risen Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.